Hey everyone. Today we're going to discuss how to collaborate within Postman and how to use Postman to document your APIs. Postman provides multiple ways to enable efficient collaboration throughout your team. We're going to cover documentation, collaboration features like forking, watching, and the PR workflow, as well as commenting and tagging. And we'll also cover how to share collections. Postman provides multiple ways to add documentation for your collection and API, which will help your teammates ramp up quickly and use your resources faster. There are many levels of documentation provided in the platform. Workspaces help to organize the various elements like APIs, documentation, collections, and so forth all in one place. If I click on my workspace name at the top left, I will be able to view the workspace level documentation in the middle. I can use this area to help the rest of my team get familiar with how to use this workspace. I can either use the Postman's editor or the Markdown editor to help keep my documentation organized by using headings to separate out each section. I can even insert images, tables, links, and so forth. For instance, I could begin with a section called how to consume this workspace. This could start guiding my team members, and this way my team members aren't spending time aimlessly clicking around in the workspace. They know what to do when they land here by reading the instructions that I've put together, like reading through the docs, using specific requests in a particular order, and so forth. Next, I could have an inventory section as an overview of all the various Postman elements like APIs, collections, and environments in the workspace that my teammates could use. Below that, I could have an integration section. I could also include a section for external links to any resources that my teammates might need. For example, this could be where they sign up for any necessary credentials. Now let's go to a collection in my workspace and review the collection level documentation. Postman collections are where I can create and organize my API requests. I can use the collection level documentation to give my team a high level overview of what they can expect from this specific collection and how they can use it. Here on the right side, I've outlined some very simple tasks that my teammates could complete to get more familiar with the API endpoints and their behavior. I could also add some granular documentation at the folder level as well. If I go another level deeper, I can also add additional request level documentation. Here, my teammates can find details around this specific API call. Postman generates some of this documentation automatically so that I can use that to expand upon. At the very top, this URL is automatically pulled in from the request itself. Next, I can use this space to show my team how they should be using this specific request and what information they can expect from the request. Then there will be some information about the authorization, headers, and I can also provide further information on query parameters. In terms of parameters, all the information that I've added in the middle here is getting populated in the request level documentation. I've added whether the parameters are optional or required, a brief description of what they are, and an example of the type of information each parameter is expecting. Another great way of using Postman for documentation is using examples. Examples showcase the data that's being returned from a specific request. After I send the request, I can go to the bottom right and click Save Response, and then click Save as an example. And this will save this response as an example underneath the request. Examples get automatically added to the documentation, and adding many different examples can also be helpful for front-end developers so that they can design around the various types of responses that will be returned from the API. If I switch over to the API Builder, where I can create and publish APIs, I can add a summary at the top and also a description using either the Postman Editor or the Markdown Editor in this middle section. Moving on to the definition, I can see the documentation that Postman has automatically generated from my schema. It details the requests, the authorization, path variables, responses, examples, body, and headers. Now, besides documentation, Postman also offers a familiar collaboration workflow that includes forking, watching, and creating pull requests. This workflow will be familiar to those of you who use Git. To show you the workflow, I'm going to switch between two different Postman accounts. Currently, we're looking at my main account in Postman Lite mode for backend developer. 
I'll be switching between this account and the post in dark mode for Alisa Maza, who is a front-end developer. We're both at the same org, in different teams, but we need to collaborate across the Postman collection. Now, Lisa currently just has viewer access to these collections. Elisa sees that there's a lock icon next to the collection, which shows that she can't edit the collection. Let's see what happens when we try to have Elisa make a change. If Lisa tries to go and save her changes by clicking the Save button, she'll see that it's grayed out. The UI suggests that she create a fork and save that way. Next, Elisa tries to create a fork, which makes a copy of the original collection in her own workspace. Creating a fork is super helpful for Elisa to see how the collection works, make local changes to it, and see how those changes affect the collection. Elisa can change the default fork label, choose which workspace she'd like the fork to be created in, and whether she wants to watch the original collection. By default, this option is checked. Watching the original collection will create a link from Elisa's fork to the original collection. So if any changes are made to the original collection, Elisa will get notified about them and can pull those changes down in her fork. I'll show you how this works once we hop into Elisa's workspace. So once Elisa clicks on the fork collection button, the platform will automatically take her to the fork of the collection in her own workspace. Here, Elisa will get notified from this bell icon at the top right in case there are changes to her fork collection. She can then go into her copy of the collection, click the three dots, and then click Pull Changes. So now that Elisa has a local copy of the original collection, she can make the changes, save, and test. Right now, this change is only saved to Lisa's copy of the collection, but she still needs to push the changes up to the original collection. This is when Elisa can create a pull request to request those changes made to the original collection. Here, Elisa can add a title, select a reviewer and add a description. She can also review her proposed changes in the changes tab at the top. Elisa can then click the Create Pull Request button at the bottom. Now if I go back to my main account, I go back to that collection. I can view the pull request from Elisa within the Pull Request section. When I click on the PR, I can review the description and what changes Elisa is requesting. Postman also has a great real-time commenting feature that I can use here to better understand why Elisa is requesting this change. I can go into the commenting section, I can at notify Elisa, and ask her why the change to get more details. Now as Elisa, I can go into the comment section and I can see that the reviewer is asking for more details and I can respond back further here within the same thread. And we don't have to swap to another communication channel to ping each other. We don't have to take screenshots and share them back and forth to provide context. All of our collaboration can be done directly within Postman. Postman also has the ability to comment on a whole collection at the folder level, on a specific request, on request parameters, and even on the body, pre-request script, or test script tabs. Well, now back to my main backend developer account, I can now approve and then merge the PR, and the collection updates in real time. I can also review the change log to quickly see when and what changes have been made and who merged in the changes. Now beyond the forking, watching, pull request workflow, in order to reduce the duplication of efforts, I can also share my collection with the rest of my team so that they can try it out directly. I can share with multiple team members by entering in their name, email, or postman group that they belong to, and I can select the role I want them to have, either editor or viewer. The UI will auto suggest a team member when I start typing in the text box. I can select my team member 
make sure the role is selected, and then click Share Collection button. This will send an email to them with the link to this collection. Alternatively, I can click Copy Link and send their link via other communication methods like Slack. Now, since I have a README where I'm documenting my collection, I can embed code for a button that says Run in Postman. Anyone can simply click the button, automatically allowing them to view a live version of my collection or fork it into their own workspace. This means any ongoing changes made to my collection will be available to anyone who can access the collection via this method. I can even add an optional environment. Through forking, my team members could even suggest changes to the collection via a pull request. Now, while this feature is usually used for collections in a public workspace, for an internal documentation using a team workspace, I can actually tweak the HTML code to point to the collection by using the collection ID and the collection URL. As long as your team has access to the collection in the team workspace, they should be able to use the Run and Post and button to fork the collection into their own workspace. Another way to share my collection is by using the Product Postman API and a collection access key to give read-only access. When a team member loads up my collection, they will see it in its current state in JSON format and can import my collection as raw text within Postman, where they can further work on it within the platform. Additionally, I can also create a link to embed my Postman collection in my documentation or website that anyone can use to fork my collection as long as it's in a public workspace. So to recap, we reviewed documentation, collaboration features such as forking, watching in the PR workflow, and commenting tagging, as well as sharing collections.